afternoon guys and welcome to coils and coins detecting just on the beach today I uh, thought I might have a bit of a go with the uh, Equinox 800 and the um, sniper coil or the six inch coil just to see if I can find anything in amongst the rocks um, I'm hoping that um, we might find some small coins uh, and coins in general and other bits and pieces just wedged between the crevices in the rocks um, as the tide comes in, as the weather gets rough and the, the waves wash across the top of these rocks and across the sand, anything that's dropped is obviously going to end up down between the crevices or up against the rocks. So that's the theory. Uh, let's see if that's true. Um, it's a really nice evening here. It's about 6 or 7 o'clock, quite calm. A few spots of rain, but yeah, beautiful conditions. So we'll just see how we go. Um, fingers crossed, I've got something good to show you. I'll be back soon with the first target. Uh, as far as settings go today, I'm just in beach one mode um, and I've got everything just pretty much default. Uh, recovery speed of 6 and sensitivity 21 just at the moment, 22 I'll bump that up to. If it gets a bit chattery I'll just tone it down and back it off a bit. But at this stage it uh, looks okay. Continuing to look around the rocks here and I've got a 7, 8, 9, 10 just here, repeatable, just here, so let's have a look and see what we've got, being a 7, 8, 9, 10, could be a small coin, 5 cent piece, something like that, um, rubbish of course, wait and see, this doesn't sound down too far. Okay, so it's just here. Ah, here we go. Well, I can see something round. It's unlikely to be silver because it's the target ID just wasn't right for silver coin. But it is a small coin of some sort. I think it is actually a silver coin, an old silver coin. Yep, you can tell, you can see some writing on it. Well, that is so, so thin. I think it's a threepence. So thin that it was ringing up like <laughs> half a threepence, which is a pretty much what it is. Let's just see if I can get any detail off it at all. Yeah, it looks like a, maybe a wheat, wheat thrip. Now we'll clean that up and have a closer look at it later. Unfortunately, uh, it's well past its best. Never mind, silver, silver, it's a pretty cool find. We've got a pretty solid signal here, guys. <coughs> Haven't found much for a while. Um, just some lead, really, bits of lead, the main thing I'm finding. It seems pretty big, doesn't it? Probably rubbish. Sometimes you're pleasantly surprised. It's on the surface. There it is. Looks like a big lump of lead or something, or a rock. Yeah, it's a big lump of lead. It's a decent sized chunk too. Kind of hollow in the middle. Very heavy. Don't know what that's come off, but add it to the leg bucket. And we'll keep looking. Another signal here, guys. Twenty-one, twenty-three. Let's have a little look at this one. Sounds promising. Twenty-one, twenty-three. 
quite shallow. There it is. What the hell's that? Nut of some sort. Hmm, okay. Don't know what that's doing here, but interesting. Let me know if you know what that's from. Well, I had a real, real scratchy signal down in this hole um, next to the rocks here. Um, wasn't even going to bother digging it. It was 23, 24, but real scratchy. It sounded like rubbish, as a lot of these, these targets uh, do. They just sound terrible. But on this occasion, I've got what used to be a fairly old coin. Uh, now I can make out, well, you can see here how much of it's left, two thirds of it maybe. Um, but I can see a date, uh, and I reckon it's an old Britannia, maybe an old Britannia penny or something. Uh, because I can make out, I think I can make out Britannia, and I think I can make out uh, possibly a date on the bottom too. 1900, I think it says. And it would be an old Br Britannia penny, or what used to be a Britannia penny anyway. Still, I'll take it. It's something different. Pretty cool. Well, this little uh, sniper coil is still amazing me. I'm still just bashing around these rocks and I've got a signal here. Uh, it was about a, a 16, I think, 15, 16, and I had a bit of trouble finding it uh, initially. Um, but then I narrowed in on it. And between two rocks in the crevice, pretty sure I've got a thrip. And that's just sniffed that out beautifully from between the rocks. Um, yeah, can't believe how good this little coil is. It's just still doing, and this is an area that's pretty pretty well been hammered, I reckon, over the years. But uh, it's done the job and found a little thrip. Looks like a wheat, a wheat thrippance. Uh, let's see if we can get a date off that one. Goes that way round, 1960. Uh, it'll be Queen Elizabeth on the on the other side, on the front side, yep. Pretty black from the the uh, discoloration there, but uh, that's awesome. That's the second silver today. 50% silver this one, uh, as they went from 50%, um, well from 92.5% uh, in 45 and earlier, they changed in 46 to 50% here in Australia. So that's a 50% silver coin. Little Thrippence, pretty happy with that as well. That's awesome. We're doing doing okay. Found a few predecimals. Haven't been in very good shape, but uh, you get that on the beach. So anyway, happy with that. We'll keep on looking. Well, we're still hunting around these rocks. Not far from where I found the thrip. Not sure if you can see this. Uh, zoom in. That might help. Here's the rim of what looks like a copper coin. I'm guessing by the size of it, it's a one cent piece. Um, see if I can get it out. But that's pretty. That's a pretty good find, considering it's on its edge like that. Um, the target ID rang up, I think it was 24, so that's pretty consistent with a one cent piece. I'll just see if I can get it out of there, because it is jammed in the crevice. Yep, here we go. Nice, shiny one cent piece. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. If we can find that, I should be able to find pretty much anything that's in this area in the way of coins jammed in between rocks, which is exactly what I'm looking for. So, yep, that's awesome stuff. We'll keep on going. I'm still just patrolling around these rocks and have a pretty decent 1920 signal. So, somewhere about there. So we'll dig this one up and uh, we'll come back and see. Okay, so it's not down very far, this target. Just in the wet sand here. So let's dig this one out. See what we've got. Okay, it's quite close. It's just here somewhere.
Ah, well, you're bound to find a few of these at the beach and at the rocks. Fishing sinker, fairly heavy one too. Ah, well, that will go straight into the lead bucket. Got a bit of lead today, so it's gonna, uh, gonna make some good sinkers, I reckon. We'll keep on looking.